live from the University of Texas at Austin. The Liberal Arts Development Studio and the Department of Computer Science presents Android Programming. And now, here is your professor, Dr. Emmett Witchell. Hey, so one of the things I wanted to talk to you about is the idea that you're going to be learning programming in this course. This course is really primarily about programming, Android programming, and what does that mean and how are you going to learn it? So I wish that I could uh, give you a list of the five important things you need to know in order to be a good programmer. Uh, but programming is a skill. It's like being a visual artist or being a, a musical artist, there's tools that I can give you and there are directions I can point you in, but ultimately it's you, the canvas, and your brush, and you need to be able to figure out what to do for yourself. And so rather than me teaching you programming, what it's going to look like is me teaching you how to teach yourself programming. And so I'm sort of reminded by, of that old joke that somebody comes to university and says to somebody there, hey, show me the university. So they walk around and they look at the buildings, they talk to some of the faculty, they talk to some of the students, and at the end of the day, the person says, I don't understand. You showed me buildings, you showed me faculty, you showed me students, but you still haven't shown me the university. Where's the university? And this course is a little bit like that because I'm gonna show you lots of programming examples. You're going to do a lot of programming examples, but where is the skill of programming? That's something that you develop by doing progressively more difficult tasks, by repeating those tasks, and by finding out what works for you and in the way that it does work for you. And there are two things, two themes that I'm going to come back to again and again. One is have you read the documentation? And the other is, what have you done to debug your program? So reading the documentation means understanding the environment that you're interacting with. And as a programmer, all the programs you, you write are in the context of some other software system, and you need to know how to interact with that system. And so I'm constantly going to be, uh, I have links in the, the course page to send you to the right points in the Android documentation. If you ask me questions about how things work, I'm going to say, what does the documentation say? And then for the code that you're writing, we need to figure out, or you, you need to figure out how to make that code work and how to know whether it's working. And those are debugging techniques, and we're going to talk a lot about how to debug your code. But the goal here is to make you a good programmer to make you self-sufficient. So I've got a friend in environmental science who took a class in sages and grasses. So it's sort of amazing to me that there is so much to learn about sages and grasses. Of course, if you think about it, why isn't there a huge amount of information? And we have information in this class, but the main thing I'm trying to teach you is sort of not information-based. It's experience-based. It's a skill that I hope you'll be able to develop during the course of this semester.